if it gets taken to court, that's how you will be perceived. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a bit of a different video. I wanted to do like a chat story time video and it's all centred around having anxiety and how I manage it. It all began on the day I was born. My mum said that I was literally born with anxiety. I'm a dramatic person. For instance, I work for myself and I always have done as a photographer, but last year I thought, you know what, this self-employed lifestyle isn't for me. I can't handle the stress, always having to find my own work and always having to like worry about when my next job is. I just, I looked at other people going on the train to London. I thought, wow, you've got it so easy. You're progressing in life. Whereas for me, it's like, oh, I'm doing really well. Now I'm not, now I am, now I'm not. Whereas nine to five, you're you're constantly progressing, like step by step by step, you get promoted, it's just a fly, whereas when you're self-employed, it's up and down all the time, like I couldn't handle it anymore, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna temp. So I started temping, and that actually turned into a year's worth of temping, like in the same place, so I thought, okay, this is what I wanted, like in my head, this is what I was wanting, so I'm just gonna do it, I like having a constant paycheck, I like being on the train with everyone else, not having to think outside the box, basically. So I went along with it and I thought that it was good for me, but at the same time it wasn't. It just, I don't know, if anyone's creative out there, being in a corporate environment is so hard. Basically I made a couple of friends in my workplace because they were also new and I always kind of warm to the new ones, I think you're in the same position let's be friends. She worked on the other side of the office and we had like a, a a chat that connected everyone in the office. So I was talking to my friend via this messenger and it was perfectly fine, perfectly allowed. As long as you're doing your work, you can have the occasional one-liner, do you know what I mean? So I was doing that and she was telling me how she was actually struggling in her team because somebody was making her feel that like, uncomfortable and I won't go into it, <laughs> legal reasons. I was sympathising with her, I was just like, oh no, that sounds horrible, well, don't worry, you're the bigger person. If they're making you feel that way, don't even talk to them, just don't even talk to them, just do your own thing, know you're going home at five o'clock, just getting into your own zone. I was speaking like that, that kind of thing, so like, don't even, even give them the time of day. So anyway, that was that, and then one day, my flipping boss, boss man, flipping director, said, Robin, can I have a word with you, please? And I instantly thought, fuck. Oh my God, something's happened. I don't know what I've done. Obviously, I've done something wrong. I probably do everything wrong. As soon as I think that I've done something wrong, or somebody doesn't like me, or, you know, when it really, when it's gonna make an impact in my life, if I'm gonna be fired or something like that, I get so anxious. I was shaking, and I was like, I think I was even sweating. <laughs> too much information, I don't know, but I was. Um, so yeah, he called me into this room and I never had meetings with him because I had a manager, I had a manager and then a director, so it was like missing out the whole manager section and I was just going straight to the director and I was just like, oh my God, what's happening? I can't deal with this. So he sat me down he was like, right, um, so HR have talked to me and they're, they're actually experiencing issues in this team, the team that my friend is in. And you're like, and we've been putting up all the conversations that have been exchanged with you know, people in that team. You have popped up because you've been speaking to La La La. I'm going to call her La La La. Your friend in that team. Basically this one person has complained that he feels he's being bullied by that team. And that this person who had complained turns out to be the one that was making my friend feel uncomfortable. So I was like, oh, okay. And they was like, okay, so we've realised that you're on the chats too, on these chats, talking about this person. So your chats with, the, with your friend could come across as bullying to this person that has complained. And I was just like, oh my God, that I'm a bully. <sighs> I remember, like, literally... The Feeling like I've gone into a twilight zone, like I just, nothing, I didn't know what reality was, I was like, I'm a bully, like I have never been a bully, I like, just, I'm always on the other end, I'm just so humble and shy, just because I said to my friend, ignore him, 
if he makes you feel comfortable, ignore him. That was enough to be labelled a bully. And they said, if it gets taken to court, that's how you will be perceived. I thought, that's it. That's my corporate career life over. My reference is now going to be shit. I'm, gonna, I'm, a, I'm a bully. I was like, why am I even here? What am I even doing here? Like, I've tried. I failed. Not only, not only have I failed, but now I've, I've, I've tarnished my future references and my future jobs in life because my reference now is I'm a bully. This is what was going on in my head and I just wanted to crumble. I was like, I don't understand what's going on. I just, that's when panic starts to set in. I think he's seeing me work, getting worked up and he was a really calm kind of person. He was like, I know that you're not a bully, but I'm just saying you need to stop talking to her about him now, or about this person. So, we're not, we're not, I'm not saying that you are a bully but you need to stop that because it could come across in that way but all I could hear was you are a bully, you are a bully, you're going to get fired. I left the room and sitting at my desk, everyone around me was like you're right, my manager you're right and I was like mm -hmm. yeah thank you. Yeah. Literally just in denial, goosebumps, lump in my throat and I thought I can't fucking do this what's going to happen now, what's my future, am I going to get fired why do HR think I'm... I was annoyed, at this point I think my shock was turning into anger, I was like how dare they call me a bully, how dare someone tarnish me like that when I've been nothing but good the last thing I am is a bully, I just got so fucking annoyed, like what can I do right so I started crying didn't I, at my office in the middle of probably 50 people started bawling. I know I didn't bawl actually because I was so pent up with anger, frustration, worry, fear, anxiety. I started doing this. <gasps> I think that's probably classed as a panic attack. I don't know. My manager said, are you okay? Do you want to go in another room? I was like, I just, I just want to get, I need to. I was level fucking 150 off the scale anxious and I had to go into another room but before I got to the other room I walked it was like a bloody red carpet, I walked all the way through the office, everyone's looking at me hyperventilating, thinking what the hell's wrong with her. I just felt so pathetic that something so, that classic office politics had got to me, but I wasn't used to this, I wasn't used to like being emotionally challenged like that. I got into the room, I definitely dramatised it more than I should have, but I couldn't help my emotions and in the end my manager did stick up for me and she talked to HR and she said you've got nothing to worry about, you're not a bully, blah 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 and it was always, it was fine but I just, it was hard and that wasn't the only time I cried like that in the office oh, I couldn't help it and that world just drained me I did a year of that and I thought you know what, I have, I have my own talents, I have other talents and being Ad an admin isn't that, like I need to exercise what I've been given. I'm creative, I'm artistic so I need to choose a path that complements that. Yes I'm gonna quit, I'm, I don't care, I know it's a risk but I'm at the point in my life where I can afford to take that risk at the moment so I did and that's the best thing I've ever done. I feel like doing that year in London really made me appreciate my work being self-employed because I think before that point I took it for granted and I think working, being on the other side of the fence, the grass isn't greener and it made me realise that I need to put more hard work into what I want to do rather than just fit into society. But yeah, that was my little backstory of being anxious. So my first tip to help anxiety, like I just said, take yourself out of that situation that makes you feel anxious and horrible and downtrodden, any of those feelings, if that's a relationship, get yourself out of the situation and I got myself out of my that working environment situation that just was literally draining my soul, that's how it felt, it was draining my soul, I had zero creativity left in me, I forgot who I was, I forgot who I was, I lost myself, so I thought no that's enough, that is enough of that. Everything happens for a reason and those horrible situations are lessons but just remember that you have the choice to take yourself away from that. Don't let it drain you. Put everything into perspective. So in that situation at work, when I got called a bully, even though they were saying that they didn't think I was a bully but legally I could be seen as a bully or something like that, all I could hear was legally you're a bully, you're a bully, you're a bully. And I couldn't see the bigger picture, I couldn't put it in, into perspective, I couldn't see that it was just a warning, I just thought it was 
that's it then. I failed to see the big picture. So looking back, I wish maybe that I calmed down, listened to what they were saying. I'm not a bully. Understand that I'm not a bully. Trust myself and my actions. I knew I didn't do anything wrong. And just not get so upset. And also, I wish I'd said, can I just take five minute, a five minute break, please? I'm feeling a bit emotional. And it would have been fine, but I let myself get to, to that emotional heightened phase before I could communicate with anyone and that just wasn't good and also all these people all their judgments even HR all, all of those they have made no impact on my life now like I knew that I didn't want to stay in that industry so I don't know why I was getting worked up about future references and things like that I just wish I'd step back and saw what do you really want to do though do you really want to stay here do these people really matter what is what they say right about you? No, it's not, so. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. This is a cliche tip, but meditate. Meditate. I meditate sometimes. They say feet on the floor, ground, grounded, everything, nothing should be crossed. Your arms at your side, close your eyes, go to a happy place. They do, there's loads of guided meditations on YouTube for anxiety, things like that. It doesn't have to be spiritual, it's just like a way to calm your mind. But I used to be really good at that. But now, when I meditate, first of all, if I sit up, I get a headache. So then I lay down, like, okay, I'm gonna get comfy. And then I fall asleep. So, no, you're not supposed to fall asleep, but I do. But it still helps me, it still helps. Like the other day, I had to drive in essence. I'm really struggling with my driving, so I have a phobia of tests because I'm anxious about everything in life. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do a meditation to help calm my mind ready for my driving lesson and I did that and I fell asleep I gave myself a, a couple of hours before I fell asleep woke up about an hour before my, te my test my driving lesson and actually that was the best drive I've ever had so it must have worked and I'm gonna do that again <laughs> even if I do sleep at least I know it works it's obviously done something to calm my mind so I recommend you try meditation even if that means you go to sleep and last of all what really helps me is Believing in the law of attraction. The thoughts you put out into the universe, so positive thoughts, is what you're going to receive back. So it's basically karma. So if you're always anxious and always worrying, like, this is going to go wrong, this is going to go wrong, I hate my life, everything's rubbish, then you're putting out those vibes and only that will come back to you. And it does it does work. So some days when I was in London, I thought, you know what, today I'm going to be really positive. And they say, if you smile, even if you don't feel happy, it kind of does something to your brain to make you feel happier. It's like tricking your brain. So I used to be like, I'm happy today. I'm going to be really positive. And I remember on one particular day when I thought, I'm going to, going to put the law of attraction into works. Positive day, happy thoughts, excitement, love, good vibes. I found a five pound note just on my way home from work on the floor. There were so many people walking past. I don't know why anyone didn't pick it up. I picked it up. I was like, I'm having a good day. Thank you, Law of Attraction. Positive thoughts all around. When I found that five pounds, I thought, karma is real. And because this five pounds isn't mine, I don't need this five pounds. I'm going to give it to a homeless person because there's so many homeless people in London. So that's what I did. And I just thought, good vibes, you know, giving, positivity. Hopefully it's all going to come back in good ways. So I feel like that really helps my anxiety. If I get really down about something, I just think you're going to make it worse. If you keep thinking these negative thoughts, you're just going to get more negativity in your life. So you need to really snap yourself out of it and believe in good things and be excited for your future and everything will work out. And I have to say, since leaving London and starting my own thing, I thought, you know what, I'm not going to worry about my work. I'm just going to do my best and trust that everything's going to work out and it has and it's really weird because the years before I worked in, Lon in London it was really hit or miss and I was really struggling but as soon as I left London I thought you know what this, this is going to work for me it's worked so I just feel like the law of attraction is real and it really helps my anxiety and my way of thinking because I feel like when you're anxious you really need a belief system to cling on to and to inspire you and guide you. I hope this video has helped you. I know it's quite random. Make sure you subscribe and follow my Instagram and my Twitter and my blog where I have like more life talks and things like that on my blog so you might find that interesting. So see the links below. Um, yeah, if you have any video requests let me know. Other than that I will see you next time.